and we're here at the SID Display Week. And uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Edison Chong, coming from Vision Ox. And um, you are showing some of your latest uh, flexible AMOLED displays. So Vision Ox is big in the OLED, right? Yes. So uh, what is this? This is a foldable display and it's our radius is around 3 to 5 millimeter and it has been passed uh, 200k times uh, the reliability test. 200,000 times? Yes, 200,000 times. And it's a big display? Yes. With 5 millimeter folding radius? Yes. And you can also do uh, smartphones like this? Yes. So are these on the market already or how soon is on the market this? Uh, currently, uh, it's only ready for the market, okay. and closer to mic. Yeah, closer to mic. Yeah, it's only ready for uh, the market. Uh, when it comes to the mass production, we will uh, announce it. And but right now, it's still uh, under preparation. Later this year. Pardon? This year, maybe. All, all of these two are still under preparation. It's still not launched yet. It's only uh, to show us. Uh, show what technology we are having right now. Nice. And what is this? This is a multiple folding display to tell our customer uh, in, in the near future you do not only to uh, you, you don't need to bring uh, so um, many uh, electronic device. Usually so many people right now have a uh, true mobile phone and when you are traveling you also need to uh, bring an iPad and think about it. When you have a multiple folding device, you can use this side uh, for your family, use this side for your company. And when you need to uh, have a re reading function, you just need to unfolding this device, then you could have a pad. So, so that's you can so good. Triple fold. Yes. Phone that turns into a huge tablet becomes a big, big tablet. Yes. And this is another foldable? Yes, this it's is active. another. Um, suppose that it should be active, yeah. All right now it cannot be active. Alright. So this is another uh, version of this kind of technology? Yes. And here also? Yes. So you, you have um, a screen, this is optimized for, for watch, right? Yes. This is optimized for uh, a... Pardon, yeah. So this is uh, on the market? Yes, it's already on the market. It's, um, it's uh, optimized for a wearable phone and uh, it's not only about a watch but you need to call your friend you just need to connect it with uh with your phone then you can call your friend so it's a huge can you take it off take it off yeah yeah so it's flexible and stable yes and mass produced available on the market this is nubia brand yes. or is a one of the companies from ZTE, I think, or some, um, and, and it's fully touch. Fully touch. It's a touch function. So that means it's f stable. Yes. Flexible display. Yes. Stable. On the market, it's not so too expensive, also. Sure. And uh, this is a 4.1 inch. Yes. With a, a lot of hardness going on here, and all kinds of temperatures. That's really cool. So this is the coolest watch in the world, is it? Yes. It's a Vision Ox watch. Yes. Kind of. All right. Let's walk around here. Um, you have many other demos here. Some other. This is a speaker. And um, smart monitor. Yes. So there's just so many potential, so many opportunities with the flexible OLED, right? Yes. Here, we have this. It's another smart cup. You can put some liquid and then it can show the story of the coffee or the something. And this is also the phone that folds op open to a big tablet. The the trick is how to make it flat, right? Yes. You have this technology already? Already. So it's really nice, like a tablet. When you open this tablet, close yeah. like phone. Like phone. Cool. Here, so, and this is the 
the AMOLED ebook. Cool. So, um, if you go around here, so how big is the Visionox? Uh, this company uh, so far has more than 6,000 employees, and we already uh, yeah. already built up four, product, uh, four production areas uh, located in China. So in like, uh, where? Where in China? Uh, one production area is in uh, Beijing, the other production area is in Big Shanghai area, and the other one is in Hefei area. And so you you can do uh, HDR and SDR display. Or what is this? Uh, we co work with our partner to optimize the image quality uh, because we do believe like uh, customers prefer uh, more more comfortable image quality experience. Nice. And here's another. What does this do? Okay. This is a. This is a. a a pressure touch function and it's quite quite good for me because yeah. uh, usually I will have frequent business travel when I yeah. uh, travel to a cold win winter area and usually I need to wear the gloves nice. but I guess when the winter is very cold you don't want to take off your gloves right then think about it I can use my finger to touch directly but when you wear the gloves we lost the touch function but so how do you fix that use this one you see oh yeah we co work with our partner uh, to improve the touch function. So like when you travel to cold winter area, you don't need to take off your gloves. Nice. Is there a special algorithm in there? Yes. All right. And here's uh, the other, uh, the flexible display again. Yes. And um, what do you do here, the flexible display? Uh, that's just to show our uh, customer to know uh, what kind of uh, flexible display we can produce for them also with different uh, package um, function and here's the sound coming out of the display yes so you can see the small balls are vibrating do you see the speaker nice sound on display yeah so you have localized sound coming directly out of the display you can make a bezel less no need speaker yes and when we don't need to use a speaker, you can yeah. save the room for the battery. Then you don't need to charge your mobile phone nice. after one day usage. Nice, cool. Okay, let's go around here. Mm. Uh, here you have some more. This is how you do the smartphone displays. Yes. So what's the latest here? Oh, sorry. What is this one? This is our uh, latest technology. Uh, it's just to uh, tell our customers uh, we can uh, provide with them high screen ratio display and with uh, AA punch function to uh, insert the camera inside and also uh, we can provide with them high resolution so like 3k or something like that 2k this is another hole up here Yes. So all the smartphone displays you do is all AMOLED. You invest many years in this. Yes. Right? To do a um, lot of, what is the quantity? Do you ship, do you say how many um, you shipping? Currently, uh, we, we are the top tiers in China. Basically, uh, according to the Sino report uh, in 2018, we are the number one shipment provider. The number one in China? Yeah, the number one in China. Not in the world? Sure. Not yet? Not yet. But in the China, number one? Yes. So it's many, many millions? Yes. Millions of, of uh, AMOLED phones? Yes. Shipping? And very stable yes. uh, quality. Some nice contrast. Great dark levels, black levels. And you have some small ones here? 
and this one, little round one. Is this for smartwatch? Yes, for smartwatch. Cool. And here's all the phones you have. So these are another, some other smartwatches. This one you just showed, the Nubia Alpha. It's really cool. And then some, some of the phones are real. These are on the market. Yeah, this is commercialized area. Nice. Yeah, you can show this. this. So all these brands are very happy to work with Visionox. Yes. To make some really cool looking phones. This is a 5G mobile phone. Yeah. And we, our thickness is 30% uh, reduced. So it could be thinner. Yeah. This is also a nice looking one. Very similar. Yeah. This is a gaming phone. Nice. So also uh, AMOLED is good for battery life. Battery is long. Yes. When it's especially black uh, UIs. Its power consumption is quite low and also can provide you the true black image true black. sensing. Nice. Yeah. Here's some more. And uh, here's a bunch more. So uh, what do you do with the car over here? Let's go over there. That's okay. <laughs> the automotive display. So you're shipping this already or is it for the future? Uh, for the future. However, right now, we already co-work with an uh, electrical vehicle company and they already uh, launched their first model uh, with our uh, display inside on their A-pillar. On their A-pillar, you know. Because when <coughs> you, you are driving, uh, you don't need to uh, see the mirror, you just need to see the A-pillar, then you, you can see uh, something which is nice. uh, transparent for you. And it's a good idea to have a AMOLED in the car. Yes. To also have good contrast. And it gets bright enough. Because yes. it needs to be bright, right? Sure. And there will be all kinds of different shapes coming out. Yes. Many different things. And what will happen in the future then with Visionox? More and more AMOLED? Yes. In the future, we do not only produce a uh, flexible display. And basically, we expect the foldable display should be commercialized in the near future. Not only foldable, also including multiple foldable. My hope, I love the foldable phones, it's amazing, but I hope the price is not too high. Sure. It will be high in the beginning, or can come down the price, hopefully. It, it could come down the price in the future. It needs big quantity, right? Yes. If you can be the world leader in this, you can push the price a little bit down. Sure. Maybe. That's our target, our goal. Cool.